Right, I'm so sorry. I am behind on this one. This is the Invisible Man trailer. Do apologise. I had a gas safety inspection. It's what you've got to do. I, I'm so sorry, but it took way too long. So I'm a little bit behind on this. So let's watch it. Um, I also have the press release. As for some reason I have that. Uh, I was sent that. So uh, I'm going to go through the press release as well. Because I think it gives a little bit more information than what is in the description box for this. But this is the Invisible Man. Um, interesting... Uh, concept I think this one but I haven't seen this trailer so let's get into it and, and kind of see what we think shall we as the attorney representing Adrian's trust I'm required to read a prepared statement Cecilia although our relationship was far from perfect I thought that you would talk to me rather than run away are you okay I would not die! What happened to him? He cut his wrists. Per his final wishes, you're getting five million dollars. Contingent, of course, on the fine print. He can't be ruled to be mentally incompetent. It just doesn't make any sense. What? Adrian wouldn't kill himself. Listen, you're getting your freedom back, okay? Don't let him haunt you. Hello? Oh. I'm scared. You don't have to be scared of him anymore. He was a sociopath, completely in control of everything. He said that wherever I went, he would find me, walk right up to me, and I wouldn't be able to see him. Are you okay? Someone sitting in that chair. what I'm experiencing. You need help. Adrian is dead. I went to his house today. He's not dead. I have a pile of ashes in the box that would disagree with you. He has figured out a way to be invisible. Only thing more brilliant than inventing something that makes you invisible is coming up with the perfect way to torture you, even in death. <laughs> Interesting. Adrian's true genius was how he got in people's heads. Don't come any closer. Hey! I'm not crazy. Please listen to me. You're saying the person trying to kill you is in the room right now, but we can't see him? He's listening. Where are you? Where are you? Show yourself! Come on! Do it! There you are. Okay. Um. I don't know what to make of that. So. Hmm. So the. Okay, so the press release is Universal Pictures is delighted to debut the official trailer for The Invisible Man. What you can't see can hurt you. That's the tagline. Emmy winner Elizabeth Moss, us. Who Lose the Handmaid's Tale stars in a terrifying modern tale of obsession. Mm. Inspired by Universal's classic monster character. Uh, trapped in a violent, controlling relationship with a wealthy and brilliant scientist. Cecilia Cass escapes in the dead of night and disappears into hiding. Aided by her sister, their childhood friend and his teenage daughter. But when Cecilia's abusive ex uh, commits suicide and leaves her a generous portion of his vast fortune, Cecilia suspects his death was a hoax as a series of eerie coincidences turns lethal, threatening the lives of those she loves. Cecilia's sanity begins to unravel as she desperately tries to prove that she is being haunt hunted by, some by someone nobody can see. Uh, Jason Blum, our current day master of horror genre, Produces The Invisible Man for his Blumhouse Productions. The Invisible Man is written, directed, and executive produced by Lee Winnell, who is great. One of the original conceivers of the Saw franchise and who most recently directed Upgrade and Insidious Chapter 3. He is good. Upgrade was good. 
yeah, I don't know about this. The original, look, the original uh, Invisible Man was a novel by H.G. Wells, right? So, I mean, this is way, way, way taken off from that. Um, I don't know. I think it looks good. But I also do think, like, where are you going to go now with this as a character? So let, let's play devil's advocate here and just analyse it. Because like, I, I think it looks good. Don't get me wrong. I do genuinely think it looks good. I'm not, you know, I, I, I do think it looks good. However, I will say this. You're turning the Invisible Man uh, into basically some psychotic, abusive stalker, which is a bit lame. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, fucking me too, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't care too much about that. My main gripe with this is just that it, it's, you're turning the Invisible Man into an, a psychotic stalker, which is a bit lame there's a lot more you can do with invisible man than that i mean look just for the perspective of those that going whoa why do you think it's lame it's a scientist that has figured out how to become invisible is he and this is what this is a man that's just obsessed with his with his ex P fucking please come on he wouldn't what a scientist so smart that he's managed to make himself invisible is just obsessed with his ex. No. Come on. Also, like, what would be... I can't, I'm sure they'll explain it in the movie, but what would be the benefit of him faking his own death to just stalk his girlfriend? What? Do you see what I mean? Like, that doesn't really... It's just... I don't know. It's just a bit lame, really. Um, and I get it, like, you, they're trying to do a horror vibe with this. Um, so they need to have a reason. You know, they, they have to have a reason for it, right? So, horror vibe, Psycho Stalker X, turns himself invisible, goes hunting, slasher. It's Invisible Man with a slasher flick. I get it. It's just a bit lame. I think it's I think this is a wasted shot, you know? And I think it looks good. I see a turn. Oh, that's nice and crisp. That's a nice crisp shot, isn't it? Oh, looks very nice. Journey representing Adrian's trust. I'm required to read a prepared statement. Cecilia, although our relationship was far from perfect, I thought that Did she set the bloody car alarm off? How did you set the Audi R8's car alarm off? It's far from perfect. Look at it. The car alarm's going off. Perfect. Hopefully my face wasn't in the way. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I thought that you would talk to me rather than run away. Are you okay? I would not die! You're getting $5 million. Contingent, of course, on the fine print. It can't be ruled to be mentally incompetent. So, uh, what? So that's why he does it. Oh, no, it does sound lame. It sounds a lot lamer than I thought. So he's... So he gives her $5 million. He fakes his own death to give her $5 million. But only if she's not ruled mentally incompetent. So he then makes himself invisible to make her mentally deemed incompetent. So that she doesn't get $5 million. So don't fake your own death. To give her five million dollars anyway. Because you can't come back from that. If you faked your own death. You fucking idiot. Uh, no this is lame. This is lame. <laughs> I'm, j I'm just wrapping my head around it now. It is lame. Oh god. What a wasted shot. Whatever. What do you guys think? I'm sure there will be a bunch of people bitching at me in the comments. But what do you think? I just I think there's some big plot holes there already. Even just from the trailer. Anyway, let me know down below in the comments. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. As always, I'm Mr. H. Take care.